guests and Rotarians. Welcome to this, the sixth annual Ken McIntosh Memorial Apprentice of the Year Awards for 2016. This annual award, recognising the achievement and development of our local apprentices, was proposed by Lake Ken McIntosh some seven years ago. Ken McIntosh was a leader in the timber industry in New Zealand and a champion for the education and training of apprentices to bring skills to the construction industry. This award is now named in his honour. Following acceptance by Howard Rotary of the, of the idea of this award, discussions took place with representatives from BCITO and MIT to promote, to promote the award within their apprenticeship schemes and student base. This association continues and representation, representatives from both MIT and BCITO are here with us today. Recently, with the help of Ross Forrester, we have interviewed the candidates for the award and been greatly impressed by the quality of these young men and their attitude towards learning their trade and then developing themselves further through ongoing study. I'll now call on these finalists to come forward in no particular order and sit on the seats to my left here. Cameron Palmer. Cameron is single, 25 years old and lives locally in Pigeon Mountain. Having attended Waiuku College, he went to Australia and on his return some three years ago, is that right? He joined High Tech Property Solutions in a company apprenticeship. He should complete his, this apprenticeship sometime later this year with just a first aid paper finish. He's currently working as a site manager on a 19 house project. He is responsible for on-site project management, site safety, toolbox meetings. Away from work, he plays Aussie rules at Pakaranga, enjoys off-road motorbikes, and in the season, duck shooting. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> he is considering further study in project management, and outside those things, he volunteers at the Auckland City Mission. Liam Pitteroy. <laughs> Liam is a young man of 21 who spent his early years in Australia. After arriving in New Zealand, he was educated at Rosehill College. He then joined David Armitage Builders. He is now nearing the completion of his apprenticeship, working on residential housing projects. His apprenticeship should be completed in November. He has worked on housing projects in Howick and Beachlands and is currently working on a 300 square metre house in Coe. Is that right? 300? Yeah. 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 Liam enjoys motocross, snowboarding, fishing, scuba diving. He's played soccer in AFL in Australia. He's considering further business studies on completing his apprenticeship in six months' time. Looking forwards, he would like to do work for himself, employ an apprentice in a couple of years, and then progress towards his own development work. <laughs> Hayden Johnson. is 28 and single, but due to be married shortly. <laughs> he lives in Beachlands, he was educated at Sacred Heart College, and he is working for local builder Faulkner Construction. Building high class housing, having completed his apprenticeship last year. He has excellent communication skills and would wish to be operating his own business in construction. Hayden plays baseball for Howard Pakaranga and has represented New Zealand. He spends many hours at the club coaching and working on ground maintenance. He also enjoys rugby and fishing. 
And Hayden is currently undertaking a level four site supervisor course at MIT, MIT sponsored by the BCITO. And on completion, is looking to follow this with a level six in project management. Now to the awards, we will be presenting the following awards tonight. All the finalists will receive a, an Eastwing, Eastwing Hammer donated by Placemakers Paparinga. The third place bidder will get a Placemaker Tool Voucher for $600. The second place bidder will get a Placemaker Voucher for Tools for $800. And first place and winner will get a Placemakers Voucher for Tools to the value of $1,200. At this stage, I'd like to acknowledge the support of Placemakers Pekaringa for, the, for providing this. <laughs> Unfortunately, as John said, um, Maury McIntosh, Ken's widow, can't be here tonight due to a fall, um, but she offers her um, congratulations to these finalists. So if I can call John Savory, our president, to come forward and help present the prizes. First, first of all, we'll give you all an Eastwood hammer. No, I'm not going to hang up the hammer. I'm not going to hang up the hammer. Hang up the hammer. Hang up the hammer. <laughs> the third prize, the third place with a placemaker's voucher for six hundred dollars, Liam Pittyroy. Uh, this is for Liam, Dave, not for you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. In second place, with a placemaker's voucher to the value of $800, Cameron Palmer. Thank you. Needless to say, but obviously, in first place is uh, Hayden Johnson. <laughs> on placemakers to the value of $1,200. Mm -hmm. I will say now, those vouchers do have an expiry date on them. So just make sure you know. <laughs> I think they've got a 12-month expiry. Awesome. Um, would everyone now congratulate these young people on their awards? achieving these awards and thank you for your participation in this scheme. I trust you all enjoy your chosen vocation and progress in your individual goals through practical training and further study. I wish you all the very best for a bright and successful career and to all guests and all our finalists I thank you for coming along this evening to support them and hope you all have enjoyed the evening. Um, 
both BCITO and MIT have been invited to speak, but they've uh, said they'll rely on what I say. So thank you all very much. Thank you, John. That's one of our gala nights. We love doing this sort of thing. Uh, and it's been a really good night. Um, before I get on to the thanks and the congratulations, I've got two things. I've got a notice for the, our members. Get out your diaries. Uh, there will be a rose pruning at the Howick Historical Village on the 27th of July. That's a Wednesday, so all of you who've got jobs to go to can put your diaries away again. But uh, if you haven't, the, the, we would appreciate some help. We will probably be holding a repeat performance on the following Saturday, so just watch the um, keyway and your notices, and you'll find that around. That's the notices. Um, we've got a raffle, two raffles to draw, so we're going to give away some stuff. Have a go for those visitors are here. Uh, is an in-house uh, club <coughs> raffle. We subscribe every week and we draw tickets out every week. And um, some people seem to have a mortgage on them. No, seventeen. Whoops. Need some glasses. Heather Savory. Heather Savory. Good choice. Excellent choice. And twenty dollars. Twenty-nine. John Savory. Twenty-nine is Robert Mousy. <laughs> You're lucky we have a sergeant says you don't have to carry the pot. Mm. Uh, now the meat and wine, now I know some of the guests have got some idea, so keep your fingers crossed. Twenty. Mm. David Owen, he drew it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not fixed, we can assure you. Thirty-one. Looks like James Donovan. <laughs> right. Then, give it away all the goodies, so I just need to wind up. Um, congratulations to the finalists, to the winners. Um, we hope you spend your money wisely. Um, and thank you for the support teams that arrived and, and supported them. We appreciate your attendance. Thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you very much to the people from uh, BCITO and MIT. Thank you again for your support. Um, thank you to John Olson. No, Olson. John Osborne, John Osborne and Ross Forrester who organise it from our end, so we'd like to thank them very much. Uh, thank you for the wives and um, uh, people, wags that wags. came. Yeah, I couldn't wags because Helen's not here tonight. <laughs> um, I left out Kevin from the thank yous, from the welcomes at the beginning, so welcome Kevin, thank you for coming tonight. Uh, and Sue North, thank you very much for your support. So that's that, that's that. So it's just my thought for the night, I think. And it's, it's one that I thought was particularly appropriate for builders, and it's a quote from Douglas Adams. And it says, I love deadlines. I love the sound as they whoosh by. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the wedding.